Alright, what's up guys? I hope this is working. Let's see. First, I really want to go over the roster update. Alright, so for the roster update, I guess first and foremost, as I see if this is working, Yelich goes up to a 92, Arenado to a 91, Bellinger to an 89, that's a big boost. Freddie Freeman goes up. That's pretty big for me. Machado goes up some more. Altuve goes up. Kirby Yates is now a diamond. That's big. He's in my pen. So. That's huge. Let me see if the audio is working. Hello? Okay, it is. Ah, uh, sick. All right, Bryce Harper down to an 85. He gets a boost versus lefties though, but he goes down versus righties. That's fine. I think it's pretty inevitable he's gonna go gold here soon. Edwin Diaz goes down. Walker Bueller is now a diamond. Shout out to that guy. Zach Granke stays the same, I guess. Justin Turner is down to a gold. Brad Hand goes up. Ryu. Bogarts is almost a diamond. Oh, Blake Snell is down to a gold. Josh Bell goes up. Will Smith goes up. Paxton goes down. Ozzy goes up. This is interesting. All this went up. Really. Like Trinan went down. That's interesting. Cattell goes gold. Pete Alonzo goes gold. Okay, that's one I had a lot of. Uh, Kepler goes up. Jeff McNeil is a gold, baby. Jeff McNeil has done it. I gotta take a picture to document this. All right, so Pete Alonzo and McNeil go gold. Conforto almost goes gold. I'm pretty honest, complete. To be completely honest with everyone, that's pretty huge for my stub bank. Uh, Hunter Pence, silver, really. It makes sense, but he's injured right now, so I didn't think that was gonna happen. But good for him. And they'll be all-star starter, by the way. Who else, Verdugo goes way up. 
Floriano goes up. Hunter Dozier goes up. Castro goes up. Jesse Chavez goes up. Plus 30. You know why Chavez went up? He had a big start the other night. Uh, he went like six innings. Oh, and he's a uh, starting pitcher now. That's big. Greg Holland, Pagan, John Gant, Eloy, Ian Desmond almost went silver. All right. Danny Santana went up big. By big, I mean he went up three. Fun debut. So I guess we need to move Harper out of the outfield now. Who do we want though? Guess we want... Griffey for now. Story didn't go diamond. Yeah, I, that's pretty terrible to be honest. I sold shoe. That's fun. Uh, what else? Hold on. How do you edit the name of this? It's really my question right now. There we go. Uh, edit. Copy. Paste. There we go. Travis Hafner. Um. Roster update. What else do we want? Game title. Save. All right. So let's, uh, I suppose let's hop into the event. What do you need? We need five wins to get to Travis Hafner today. I don't think that'll be a big problem. I in fact would be shocked if that's a humongous problem. Uh, NL pitchers and AL hitters shouldn't be that bad. 81 already. 
We don't even need that much of a drop, do we? It would be like one starter, like silver maybe? Who do I want to pitch with? I might go, um... Throw a mic. Wow, four lefties, huh? That wasn't enough. Okay, what about if we throw Alex Wood for Ryu? No? Our bench must be stacked. James McCann is on our bench. I like that. What if we do... No. Who's on our bench that we don't need? Simmons is? Did Simmons go up? No, Simmons stayed the same. I don't think we need two short stops. To be honest. Who could we put? Let's do Loriano instead of Elvis. There we go. That gets us there. That should be good. All the way up to one viewer. Shout out to that guy. Whoever you are. Uh, who's our lineup? I should have looked. Wit, Tommy, Meadows, Gallo, Gary, Lastella. Okay. That's not a bad lineup. I'd rock that. Robbie Ray versus Mike Soroka. There's a lot of Yankee players. I don't know that I love that. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. It should be a good Diamond Dynasty matchup tonight between the Patriots and the Colts. Major League Baseball on MLB Network coming up right after this. So these are on Hall of Fame, I'm pretty sure. God. Tried to hold up there, but the appeal goes down to Rusty Valentine at first, and Rusty ain't convinced, so that's strike one. Really? Hit on the ground to third. Chapman has it cleanly, and there's one gone to start the night. So one away here with the bases empty, and up next it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. So Fam just got that diamond card, I know, and um, wherever the uh, rank seasons reward. Oh god, run, Tommy! You might beat this out. Yep. He's going to. Uh, Michael, Travis Hafner is the six ticket reward thing. Go. Dang it. He's the six ticket reward thing uh, that you get. So, like, I've grinded 15 games last event to get four, and then now I need five to get 
six tickets, but he's the first baseman. I don't have him yet. Uh, I'm grinding five games right now to hopefully get him. So this is the event right now. But I bet you I'll have him in an hour or two. Right now I'm just hanging out. Throw it. Dang it. Hafner's the uh, first baseman, though. It's like 94 overall, and then Vizquel you get after 12, maybe. Or 9 of these tickets. Because I don't think it's possible to get Vizquel till the third event, the Moonshot event. Starts the day of the home run derby, fittingly. I may like grind to get him and then sell him and then wait like an hour to buy him back when his price drops. Hopefully we go five and zero oh or five and one. Ah, go foul. Michael, do you have the, uh, if you're still in chat, how are you, how is your event grinding going? Yeah, he meant to swing. It's real bad. Real bad. Oh, you meant to swing at that too. Thank you. Sit down. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow, really? Oh, there's nobody over there. I should be late with Gary then. That only makes sense. You want to shift big for him. Last year, I raked with Matt Olson, man. Drop. Oh, and it continues this year. Go, Matt. I think it's just going to be a double. Wow, that throw is awful. That was terrible. We get a double, though. It's not too bad. Is that going? God dang it. Stand up. Okay. Tommy Lestella, guys. Got take a pitch, Josh. I don't know what the heck is happening. Please drop. Nope. I hit it too well. Howdy! If you're waving at me, a real ugly swing and gives you a lot of confidence. You 
We're rolling. We're rolling. We, uh... Just got to keep uh, plugging along here. Matt Chapman might be sneaky good, though, to be honest. Oh. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. I do want to bring someone in. He's got a righty on the mound. It's got to be a Brayu, right? Almost certainly. Is that train always there? In the right side of the screen? I'm like super ADD, so I don't know. It's kind of distracting though, to be honest. Ooh. Throw a fastball, you coward. Throw a fastball. Okay. You know what? We hit it hard. That's all you can really ask for. Now what? Wit? Late. Just, just late. Drop, please. Thank you. Alright, now I need fam. He does not want to throw me a fastball. As I say that. He's dropping. He's throwing it to first. Okay. Runners at the corner, we can deal with this. Who is it? So we paused. Or is it Meadows? Oh, he's seven and Doolittle. The thing is, Meadows hits lefties better. Ah, uh, what do we want to do? I guess we're leaving him. He hits lefties pretty good. We're just gonna take the chance. Oh. Ground ball. That's up the middle. There we go. That's pretty big, to be honest. I want to warm up our bullpen. Who do we have? Uh, you know, the bullpen's pretty solid right now, to be honest. Uh, we'll go Yates, I guess. Wow, Yates' is inside edge is bad. Maybe we won't. We'll go do little and Kimbrel. I need Gallo to bust this game open. No? Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, I was on top of that. Run, Joey. Did I get that? Vaskersion's excited, so I don't think I did. Oh, he got it. Let's go. Four nothing. Sean Doolittle, man. It's not the move. Definitely not the move. Oh, jeez. 
What a terrible swing. What an awful, awful swing. Okay, so we want, I guess, Kimbrel for Correa, and then we'll piece together the rest. It's pretty hilarious to me that, uh, geez, I have no one. Axford. Yates goes diamond today, and then he's playing at, at an 80. It's a bad inside edge. Estella playing third. I really should look at my lineup. So I have no idea where anyone is for this. It's rough. Chris Davis might be a move, to be honest. Estella here. All right. I guess we're just rolling with Kimbrel till the game ends or till something bad happens. Did y'all see that picture of the guy who had a Cubs jersey made and then he misspelled the name? That was rough. Oh god. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah. Real, real bad. All right. All right. One and zero. Four to go till we get Hafner, I think. That seems right. Plug my phone in. Our opponent has been found. Which is great news. We have a lot of lefties. I don't know that I love that or not. Uh, Sandy Alcantara. He's got Pudge, the Tigers card. That's fun. Time to start here. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. And now this is nope. as well as he's behind the leadoff man this afternoon, two and oh now. Our temperature at first pitch and even seventy degrees here this afternoon. Locked it in the air out toward right center. Not good. Not, not good at all. I was under it. Yeah.
All right, Tommy. Back up, the up the middle. Up the middle. And the throw here is going to nope. get him at first. Excellent range there is short and there are two away now. Fair enough. Now, Austin Meadows. First chance for him here at the top of the first with nobody on. I guess we need to talk about what does Story need to do to go diamond. He's not that far away, I don't think. It's got to be like, I think Kook said one point or something. In this event, can you use your gold cap? I haven't seen one, so I don't know. Golly. What a terrible pitch. What a terrible pitch. Big yikes. Big, big yikes. Oh, that's going to be a hit too. Awesome. Oh god, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Just checking the audio, I just assumed he'd grabbed it already. Frick, get there. Joey Gallo has an arm, man. This might be an out. Alright, we're down one. It's worse things. No. What am I doing? Run, Joey. Might be. Might get on base. It feels dirty, but I'll take it. I need Gary. I hit it. Okay. Not good. I hit it okay. I didn't get all of it. I think I was probably in too far inside. Yeah. I accept that. Just want to say hey to the three people in the stream. How are you doing? What do you think of the roster update? Comment that. Let me know. Real bad. Ah, I missed it. 
This might be this might be the first loss. Might be the first loss. Oh god. What's up, fam? He might be done. God. Yeah, Fulty's gonna be done. He didn't give people enough time to warm up. Big problem. Choose a guy that could get like a signature series card. Because those years with the Reds, he was an animal. Get him. Oh, you gotta tag him faster than that, dude. It's gonna be a play. Do we get him? No. Nope. Fair enough. Getting shellacked. Run Meadows. Oh my. This is bad. I think we're just gonna ride it out with Fulty. Get there, Tommy. Oh. Heroic. Heroic effort. Cruz can try to steal third, I don't really care. He's got 15 speed. Tag him. Good. Good job. We're derping. Is that not just an error? Okay, catch this. Thank you. Five. Drop. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change, he had to be sitting off speed right there. Two one. He's in there for the second strike. Great spot with that pitch down in the way. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen at this point. Good pitch. Well, so make it back to back punch outs here to the first 
Wit is the last out. GG's. Check the market. Let's see how the new cards are going. Dude, I don't even know that it's worth buying a new. It might be the 1 in 10 roll. Even the 1 in 4s are going pretty high. Gosh, or you could just buy the lower tier ones. That's possible too. Who else is there on there? It was uh, Russell Martin was one of them. Where is Russell Martin? He's gotta be on there. He's uh, here. Yeah, all of those are super cheap. And then like Rick and Keel is an 87, 88. Is he an 88? Just search the team. Filter. He's a Cardinals player. Twenty K. That's it's an interesting card. Do we go for it? I don't think so. Search opponent, let's do it again. My NL team was tons better than this AL team, for sure. Baltimore. Who's he at pitching? Is that Ryu? Is 
think that it might be. I don't know how. Okay. Not great. Not great. Run, Tommy. Jeez. So runner at first with one out now. Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Round ball to second. This could be two. Merrifield scoops it up. That's not good. On the smoke it. That was real bad. With Merrifield next to him. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pick. Merrifield. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Catch it, Austin. Austin Meadows is a defensive liability. Steve Finley have a gold card in this game? He might, to be honest. Third. Throw a second? Okay, well, at least we held them. That was bad. Dude, everyone and their mother has Joey Gallo in this event. It's MLB 18 all over again, to be honest. <laughs> what an awful pitch. Please swing. Now I need a double play. God. Yep. There's no way Austin Meadows. Oh, he stayed. Dude, if he ran, he's probably got to run. There's no way. Hey, we're up to five viewers now. What's up, guys? How you doing? Grinding the event. This game has gone poorly, but we're four games away from uh, Travis Hafner. Good. That's not good. Please swing. That's going to be like a double. That's third, Joey. He's got him. Why isn't he not covering the base? Now batting, Justin Smoke. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Jump good. Smoke. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pick. Pops him up. Oof. Olsen has a play. All right. I don't know why he's running the second. That feels like a pity move. He's trying to get the game over faster. It's 2 nothing. Joey Gallo's batting. What could be, what could be better than that? Alright, 
Alright, we need Gary to go yard. No doubt. Yeah. Horrible, horrible. How do you miss a high curve? That's the question. Because I sincerely don't know. I don't have any idea. Not good. Catch it. To be honest, I need all the help I can get on this. Let's see. I need all the practice I can get would probably be a better way to say that. Like a human would maybe say that. Please swing. Swing and a miss. Thank you. Paul Canerco. Dude, Paul Canerco could get a signature series. Realistically. Liner toward right center. Canerco has himself a big set. Who really knows? Digging in with Merrifield. Both for one four here in this one. It's coming here it is. No balls in one strike. God. There's a base hit on the line. All right. So two on with two away. And stepping in is the center fielder, Steve Bindle. Might be time for Alex Wood to have a sit down. Might be that time. Might be that time of the year again, folks. Oh, I thought there's <laughs> thought there's only one out. That was unnecessary, to be honest. It's Andrew Miller. Yeah, dude, what happened to Andrew Miller in real life, man? On top of the world, no one could touch him, and now he is very, very touchable. Run, Carlos. Okay. Andrew Miller is a uh, pretty hit or miss in this game, I find. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we want? Uh, I guess we want a Brayu, right? It's gonna have to be Jose Brayu, I think. But I can't hit. It's not good. 
Ooh, that was terrible. Okay, so now it single ties the game, maybe. And it's wet, so. It's not, it wasn't a double play, which is great. Early. We need a run. Ah, I'm dumb. That's so dumb. So stupid. All right. Oh, let's uh, do it again. Tribe fan, I'm working on it right now. I am, what, three or four wins away at this point. We're grinding till we get him, and then I'll play with them on stream probably. But I'm down to just hang out, you know, do whatever. Probably open one of those big packs here in a minute. I'd suspect after my next win. Who do we want? Ooh. Oh, the catcher. We want, I guess, this guy. We'll go Susak. Yeah, I need, I won one earlier. I, I lost two in a row because I'm just bad at this game, which is interesting because I choose to stream it from time to time and make videos on it. Which it seems like you would want to be good if you were going to do that. But I'm not. So, what's your team look like? You got a good, good team? I need four more wins for Hafner. I'm interested to see how Zach Eflin takes the hill. I'm interested to see how he plays and then how Vizquel plays, but we won't know how Vizquel plays till later on. Probably much later on. Playing a World Series player, that's awesome. Dude, who's in your starting lineup? All diamond except second? So like, Simmons at short, Chapman at third. Okay, we made it. Who'd be first? Who's your first baseman? Oh, are you saying for your team, like your God Squad team, or for your event team? Frank Thomas, that's a solid first baseman, to be honest. So is Hafner playing over Thomas then when you get him? That was bad. Because I don't know, Frank, I don't have Frank. I went with Gwyn, because I'm only silver, so I've only had one. I went with Gwen and then Gwen Rakes. That's gonna be a run. Run wit. Jesus. Yeah. 
Yeah, Hafner seems like he's gonna be good. And I feel like all lefties in this game are like really OP, you know? Like Bryce Harper is down to an 85, but I bet you he still rakes. So then who's your second baseman if he's your only gold player? Oh god. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's acceptable. Rob Carew is good. Have you looked at his signature series at all? Because that seems, that card seems like it might be, it might be like really, really good. Just from like a, Jesus, just from like a contact perspective. Dude, that's going to be another run maybe. Stay at second. Go back, go back, go back, go back. There we go. Am I thinking of the right card? Does Rob Carew have a signature series now? I thought he did. Maybe I'm full of crap. Alright, see you, man. Oh, go, man. Go. Ooh, right on the corner. See a tribe fan. Oh man. How awful. Correa. There we go. This is how we want to be playing. Stay there. There we go. It's not bad. La Stella into the alley. Really, Tommy La Stella, baby. Let's go, dude. It's going well. Six nothing in the first. Zach Eflin has a hit. This game. Oh frick. Zach Eflin doesn't have a hit because Zach Eflin runs with bricks in his pocket. That sucks. All right. Well, this guy's World Series, so I'm not gonna mess around with him at all. What do we want? I'm gonna play this like a BR game, probably. Six nothing early, though. Can't complain about that. Cannot complain about that. Especially against a World Series player. You gotta take what you can get. But I need Eflin to get one out here basically. That will be good to go. Two two, please swing. Maybe. Austin Meadows. Questionable and right, but he's got it. No worries. I guess we'll keep going with Eflin here. We got considerable cushion right now. That's not good. That's so bad. Uh, all right, it's going to be uh, Doolittle for the next few batters.
scope. Leads on second with one gun in the inning. Lifted into center field. Bam. Has it in his sights. All right. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. The relay throw, and he'll make it up to third on the fly ball. It's not bad. Let's get Joey out, and then I'll take a breath. Seems questionable here. Ah, oh, we didn't get Joey out. All right, Tommy, this has got to be you, man. Oh, we almost got him. That's the problem with Joey Gallo, man. He just squares it up, and it's a home run almost automatically. Sucks, but that's how it is. It's pretty much how he is in real life, too, to be honest. Come on, Tommy. There we go. Alright, uh, there are worse things. We scored six last inning. Let's go score like three or four more, maybe. That's gonna drop. I feel so bad about that. How, is that gonna be a good swing? Probably. Yeah, 69 miles an hour. Nice. Two zero. All right. Ooh, should I have swung? I don't know. I don't know if I should have swung at that. Wow. These are some real bad at bats here, man. Double play, I would bet. Oh, really? Beat it out, that's crazy. Who is Tony Watson pitching still? That seems right. So bad. Alright, it's gonna be Kimbrel time. Oof, <laughs> that one so far. So far. Kiermaier isn't even that good of a hitter. I don't know why he's in this guy's lineup. Alright. Hopefully Tony Watson is done here. Nolan Ryan. Wow. Bad swing. Bad swing. It's Matt Olson's turn. Is Nolan Ryan the Mets guy? Is he one of the Mets, like, team affinities or something? As Matt Olson goes yard? Does anyone know? We're hitting the ball real well right now. 
Where's this been? Oh, that's right. You can have Johnny Venters. Why don't I have Johnny Venters in my pool then? God dang it. What am I doing? Tommy Listella might be underrated card. To be honest, let's see. CSAC sucks, so, uh, Abreu it is. Ooh, that was pretty close to being down. That was pretty close. So bad. That was not good. Certainly not the best to a position player on the mound. That's awesome. Well, now we have John Axford on the mound. You can't pinch hit. Don Mattingly? Okay, that's interesting. I didn't even know this card like existed, so... That's bad. It's not a good way to start. You might get him at second though, Joey's got a cannon. Oh, <laughs> he almost did. Almost got him. Hate to see that. Mini Minoso is running. I don't know how we're going to recover from that move. That's a solid pitch. That's bad. He's not gonna send him. I probably would have sent him to be honest, but I just lost a game because of base running. Alright, it's time to warn people up. We have a five run cushion and I am horrified. My butthole is puckered. Strike? You guys tell me. Strike? Maybe? Question mark? Ooh. Really? Really? Oh, he chased. That's actually huge. It's McGriff and Gallo, so it's going to be Will Smith. it's going to be an out I would hope probably not going to get him at home but we'll give it a throw so why not it's reasonable if Gallo hits a home run here we still have a two run lead The main reason we're still pitching to Joey. 
Wow. There we go, 7-3 to three against a World Series player. We'll take it. Tommy LaStella with a bomb, player of the game. No worries. 10 hits in 3 innings. Can't get better than that. I mean, he could. Zach Eflin almost had a hit. But. So it could have been 11, but Zach Eflin is a disaster. He's also a pitcher, so it's understandable to be fair. Advance. All right, with that, I think we're two wins away, three wins away. Found. Let's go. Uh, go. Playing the Texas Rangers. I like that logo a lot. Tanner Roark. I don't know that I've ever played someone and they willfully throw Tanner Roark at me. I think that might be new. Alright. Baltimore. Zero views, so I just got a chat thing. Thoughts on all star voting? Let's see. What are my thoughts on all star voting? It sucks that it's a popularity contest, but I get it, I think. I understand why it is, because you want, you know, you want to choose who you want to watch. But also, like, Anthony Rendon needs to be an all-star, and he's not. From a statistical point of view. Uh, Rendon should be an all-star, and just isn't. Double play? Triple play? Oh, baby! Triple play! Let's go! That's... Leave a like on the stream for that. That's unbelievable. And Whit Merrifield sucks. But guys, a triple play. How about that? Crazy good. Crazy good. I'm not sure why he was trying to run home, but we'll take it. All right, hit number one of the game against Tanner Roark. No, oh yeah. So the All Star game, though, you wanna you want fans to vote, right? Jesus who they want to uh... you want the fans to have a say in who they want to see in the game but also like that can't have an effect on arbitration if that makes sense so like Pete Alonzo and like Anthony Rendon say Although Rendon's already to free agency. 
so I don't know that it matters as much. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know that it matters as much for Rendon, but like for Pete Alonso and like Acuna, like those are bargaining chips in arbitration. So it just, it sucks wildly that you're not going to have that chip based on, not because of anything you did wrong, but just Chicago has more fans, you know? So, but you can get into that argument at any position. Uh, but especially, like, Rendon deserves to be an all-star, and this year he's just not going to be, barring an injury or something. Jeez. Which, you know, I'm not a big Nats fan, but like it'd be cool to see Rendon in the All Star game just because of, you know, he's statistically this year probably the best third baseman in the game, and just Nats fans flopped on voting. Uh, so we don't get to see him, which is disappointing. But then, like, Cattell Marte at shortstop for the NL, that's cool, that's fine. Like, whatever you want to do there. I mean, but at every position, though, there's so many different players you could have. Like, there's just so much depth in the major leagues right now that you just, you can make a good argument for anyone. I just don't know. The thing that bugs me about all-star voting here, Jason, is... Uh, like Albert Almora being one of the finalists. Cause just like, what are we, what are you doing at that point? Like Albert Almora is no, no offense, right? Major League player on the Cubs. Cubs are a great team. I don't hate the Cubs, but there's so many other players that you could put in front of Almora. Um, which, you know, it's whatever, but it just turns into a popularity contest at some point. Which is fine. If that's what we want it to be, then that's what it is. But if it's supposed to be the best players in the league, maybe we need to figure out a new system to do things. I think a somewhere some kind of split between a player vote and a fan vote would be good. At this point, fans aren't even allowed to vote on pitchers. Which is fine, like I don't think that really disrupts anything. Because at most they're playing in an inning or two, and then you have availability. You know, like for the Rangers, I know if he pitches like on the Saturday before, he won't even be available to pitch. So like, if you vote for Mike Miner, say, then you're just losing out on that. God dang it. All right. Then you're just, you're not going to see him anyway. So... Ah, uh, this has been a disaster. So I know that's way more than you wanted on all-star voting, but that is what you are getting. Jesus. How terrible. Three home runs in a row. 
is so bad. And then that one was hit hard, and Meadows can't field in right, which is awesome. Might be a close play at second. No, 21 speed versus a water gun. Could have been interesting. Just so bad. I'm interested to see if Kimbrell makes this all-star team. What is happening? Run, Austin. We might get him at third. No, no, we're not. I don't know why he didn't catch that. It's Tommy Pham. I feel like he's a capable enough fielder to have caught it. All right, so now we need two more. That's fun. Bad. Wow. Uh, you would have liked to seen Pete Alonzo. Yeah, I mean, as far as rookies go, definitely one of the better rookies, I would think. I mean, I can't think of... The thing about first base in the NL is it's just so stacked. You have, like, Bell, Freeman, Rizzo made it, which you can argue. Rizzo shouldn't have made it, Rizzo should make it, whatever, but... He did. Um, and it's not like Rizzo's been playing horribly. This is on the ground from Merrifield in second. Throw to first in 
Fair enough. One guy I thought could have been an interesting all-star pick was uh, for slide stepping. Who could it have been? Jeff McNeil at second could have been interesting. Because I think the guy that won that was Cattell Marte. McNeil's hitting like 340 maybe? Something like that. down the middle and I missed it. Good pitch. Good pitch. Meadows hit a home run earlier. I guess he did and I didn't realize it. Oh, what a play to end the game. There's nothing you can do about that. But I got a triple play out of the deal, so. Let's see. What do we want to do? we can go sell everyone right who did I have I had a ton of you go to Mets That's pretty good. So we're just gonna sell them at. Somebody wants to go buy these. That would be good. If somebody wants to do me a favor and go buy my Pete Alonzo's, that would be sick of you. I'm going to keep one now. Jeff McNeil, I have a ton of two. We'll wait for him to bounce back out. Oh, 
What else? Do we want to buy a pack? Uh, at worst though, what am I? I'm losing 20,000 stubs at worst, so it's really... You're paying 20,000 for one. Which isn't bad, you know? Of these, I would want Sandberg. George Brett would be interesting too. Ah, uh, we'll wait. We'll see what happens. I do. I need a center fielder though. So Granderson play center. Granderson, but I don't love Granderson. Keith Hernandez looks sick for 20,000 stubs. Is your opponent an idiot? Yeah. See, but then if I do that, like what do you do with Freeman, you know? All right, what do we need? We still need three more wins. Let's do it. Pete Alonzo up, Pete Alonzo. Matt Olson up to an 85 is monstrous. So good. Mike Base hit. Good start. Good start. Should have been a strike to be honest. Stay fair. Oh, it's rough. 3 2, do we run? We run. Oh, really? Great pitch. Great pitch. Fair, but we have a runner on second. Not good. Not a good swing. Up the middle. Oh. Didn't quite get through. Just leaves Joey Gallo. That probably should have been a strike. With a runner on third, two out, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not get in. Oh, man. This hits so well. Malik Smith, the next pitcher. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half 
The last game, Corbin sucked, so... Gonna be a run. Yeah. <sighs> Patrick Corbin is so bad. So bad. Patrick Corbin, man. Sucks so much. Alright, from a strictly, I want to get wins as quickly as possible we are quitting out and we're starting a new team without Corbin so this is rough two and four today man it's not good uh, Okay, Corbin's done. Cal Freeland, maybe? No, we want a righty. All right. Three wins. Three wins till we get Hafner. Bumgarner and Cueto. Okay. Fair enough. Does Johnny Cueto do the shimmy in this game? That's awesome. What pitch is his first pitch? It's not a fastball, is it? Changeup is his X pitch? Really? You hate to see that. Alright, there's strike. Dude, that's gonna screw with me till the cows come home for dinner and start eating salad. Frickin' X is a changeup. X should never be your changeup. I don't care how often you throw that pitch. X is fastball, and then circle can be your changeup. Jesus. Oh, <laughs> what a terrible pitch. Alright. Big. Digging in the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. 
Of all the players that made all-star voting, Carlos Santana was the most shocking to me, man. Carlos Santana just doesn't scream all-star to me, and I don't watch a lot of Indians games here, admittedly, but... Switch. Can I not switch? What's this? Steedy? Steedy! Alright. Alright. Didn't allow a run. That's big. Jeez. Feels bad. Am I early on that? Be fair. My goodness. This is bad. I think Witt got under it. I think anyone else that has a chance to leave, but... It's Whit Merrifield, so never really had an opportunity to leave. Oh, that was bad. It was, yeah, we just got under it. There we go, Tommy Pham a hit. Big time. Pretty big. Pretty big. Now we need to cash him in. Jeez. What is happening on the baseball field right now? Wow, that felt like a terrible swing and that went 340 feet probably dude so I'm a Rangers fan I've never heard the term light tower of power in my entire life when referring to Joey Gallo and I watch 160 games a year I miss a few, but not many. I'm watching 150 plus games a year, and I've never heard that about Gallo in the three or four years he's been in the majors. I've never heard CJ go, Ooh, he's a light tower of power. Like, no, he's not. Stop lying to yourself. He did hit it out of the stadium one time. I do remember that game. It was foul, but I mean, to hit it over the roofing of the third deck anywhere in a major league stadium is a monster shot. Strike. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't care who you are. Your X pitch needs to be fastball. San Diego Studios, take note. I don't really know what the thought process was there, but as a person trying to pitch here with Live Series Johnny Cueto, it's not good. It's kind of annoying that X is a changeup. But Josh, it's his primary pitch. Like, shut up. I don't care. <laughs> It's uh, it's annoying and it shouldn't be that way, at all. At all. Working nine to five, what a way to make a Who's this? I don't know who this is. <clears throat> Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. Tommy Pham with the catch. There we go. Alright, Gary. What's up to the five viewers? How are y'all doing? Now three viewers. How's your day going? Jesus. Cheese and crackers. Drop. That's got a chance. Nope. No, it doesn't. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Our days are going terribly. Sorry to hear that, Dash. My days are going horribly, too, to be honest. That's a hit. That's got to be a double. What is the guy? What is happening in right field right now? I don't know what's happening. I'll take the triple though. Now it's time for the god Tommy Listella. Oh my goodness. Jesus. What a horrible, horrible swing. You're right though, I do need to focus. This is taking me way, way too long. Jake, you're right, I am trash. But Jeff McNeil went gold, so in a way you're trash. <laughs> it's real rough. Will not stand for this toxicity in the chat. Well hit, but also well found in the seats of left. Into the wind up, here comes the 0 and 1. Out in front as he rounds this one to short. Correa comes up with I had 10. <laughs> Uh, it was like, it was way more earlier too, like two updates ago I had like 20 Jeff McNeils. It was bad. I have an addiction to Jeff McNeil. MVP Jeff McNeil, by the way, don't you forget it. Jesus. Tommy! Frick, dude. What's happening? Not the second. Not the second. Okay. Is that in the inning? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I wound up with t 10 Jeff McNeils, 5 Pete Alonzos, I think I had 2 Kirby Yates. That might be it. Lefty. Jeez. I don't have anyone that can hit lefties. This is a real problem. I think they've elected to go troll mode on story, to be honest. gone pretty poorly today. I beat a World Series player 7-2 in like my second game and I was like oh this will be easy and then I think I've lost four or five in a row because I'm bad. And I forgot to warm people up. <clears throat> I'm trying to watch the Rangers game tonight too, so kind of on a deadline here. My problem with Hafner is I don't know what I'm going to do with him because like I have Freeman playing first and I hit really well with him and he's already locked in for a collection so I can't sell him. Jeez. Awful. Okay, Kirby Yates might be the worst pitcher ever. Pop up. There we go. Freeman equals bench bat. I think Freeman might equal third baseman. Or I'll play Freeman at second. I think Freeman's going to be my ace starting pitcher. Because then I can move Cliff Lee over to second base. Like I've always wanted. Just have 90 Cliff Lee pulled down second base for me. Yeah, it is solid, I know. This is why they should let me coach the baseball team. Line, right side. Line out. <laughs> Austin Meadows might suck in this game. He can't field. I don't know how what's happening, but it's real bad. No, yeah, but Freeman plays like third. Because I hit better with Freeman than I do Arenado. Yeah, so I think 
who would be a lefty infield? Well, first base is easy. Second base, you could go like Jim Edmonds. Griffey plays short. Uh, Gallo only bats lefty. Who's another lefty? Dear God. I'll create a player to play third. Seems easy. Golly. This game might go 12 innings. That was sucked. That was a terrible pitch. I mean, it wasn't that bad of a pitch. It was squared up. The lefty infield would be like Cliff Lee would play second. Griffey short. Bumgarner, I feel like, would play third. As a lefty fielder. First base could be anyone, realistically. Could also have Edmonds. Who else is left-handed? It's not that uncommon. Matt Olson. Babe Ruth. Have Babe Ruth hold down catcher. And we're good. experience overall please swing 3-1 thank you all right let's go walk it off it is time Just hit my funny bone on my chair and now I can't feel my hand sucks but you know what you don't need your hand to play video games all you need is your heart. Craig Kimbrell, huh? Wow. You know when you hit your funny bone, your hand goes all tingly? It sucks. Well, you only missed, but... 20 feet. Well below the knees laid off on the change up there. Oh my god. Imagine. Imagine being that bad at the game. Tommy time. Tommy Lestella, baby. No, we're Stan. We're Stan. Go back. All right, who do we, who do we need? Probably Simmons at this point. John Axford, I mean. All right. 
He's just gonna punt me sinkers, I think. Bad. Bad swing. Three, two. Whit Merrifield on deck. Oh, that probably was ball four. All right. Bases loaded, Whit Merrifield. Bottom of the fifth in a three inning game. Oh, hanging curve, too. Imagine. This is what walk-offs are made of, guys. This is it. Whit Merrifield versus John Axford. Bunt. Suicide squeeze. I'm down. Oh, frick. Here's the problem. Is that I can just do that, and then everybody wins. <laughs> so... Screw your bunt. I hate bunting so much. On the list of things I hate in order, I think it's like Osama bin Laden as a person, Nazis, and then bunting. And then any kind of politics. And then people who put mayo on a PB and J sandwich. That that's crap is disgusting. Two more wins. So we get Travis Hafner. Let's just keep going. Alright, see you later, man. Good luck moving furniture. It's a lot of eyes and trippy there. Tony and granny two wins from Hafner guys are we playing in the rain We're playing in the fog at least I don't think I've ever faced Sin Granny, however you pronounce his name. Feels bad. This guy's World Series too. It's awesome. There we go. Lead off hit for Dimwit Merrifield. Good rip. Hope this guy just quits after that. Andrew Miller in the game already. That's awesome. That was bad. 
steal with wit. That's easy stolen bases. Oh, it's not? Really? That's so interesting. Thought he had that stolen. Such a good throw. Well. You know. Base hit. Dude, this stadium looks small, just aesthetically. Single with Joey Gallo scores a run, but uh, the slider's dirty. bad not too bad this guy being a World Series player I'm pretty positive he's seen the signature series Bumgarner at least a few times since that's way better than this version Just a matter of time before he pops off. It's a strike. Yep. Three, two. All right. It's time to lock in. Two outs. Is there anyone else? Yeah, we don't want to pitch. That. Literally, we'll take our chances with Gallo over Cruz. I don't think this accurately represents how Joey Gallo stands in real life. That's closer. First one was. Way too far. Open. There we go. That's big. Andrew Miller's still in the game. Let's see how the stream is doing. The stream of life. Seems like it. Three, two. Ooh. Go a little more. It's unfortunate that wall cuts out that way.
checking in now. Carlos Correa. He'll work on keeping this top of the second. Drop, please. Thank you. And the inning continues. So the two out base hit on the top of the inning. Big time. Tommy LaStella might be a great BR card. Definitely a great event card. Of course, as I say that, it goes horribly. Horribly awry. That is too bad. Series Vlad, huh? We'll roll with this. Oh, stealing. That is shocking. But not really. How many steals did Jose Ramirez have last year? It's close to. Tw How do you take that? Yep. Throw that to the cutoff. Hindsight is twenty twenty.
Merklaw is one of those guys that just seems to be at his best under pressure. Runners in scoring position, tight game, tough hitters at the plate. That's when he's at his best. One of the keys, Matty D, to being a good reliever is being able to pitch out of trouble. Trouble that's created by the pitchers before you, or sometimes you even have some mess that you put on yourself. Hey, regardless if it's a mess that he's inherited or one that he's created for himself, this guy makes good pitches when the game's on the line. Well, he's not even close with that one. It was behind 0-1. It's bad. It's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. Flare out toward right center. Ramirez backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Riding in once again, Tommy Pham. It's a strikeout victim in his first try. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. High in the air down the right field line. Over to his left. All right. That's the GG's. Here's a guy that found a way to make a difference. Real bad. Two. How much is Hafner going for right now? It's a 94. Ten K? Twelve K? It's not too bad. stuff to open all right two wins to Hafner Boston isn't working let's go uh, Shea MTS Astros Joe Ross really uh, yep. pretty normal team to be honest with everyone pretty normal team nothing too crazy about that Swing and a shot 
Get foul. Okay. That's good. And he quit. Easiest dub of my life. So one more to Mattingly. It's not too bad to be honest. And I guess we debut Hafner. Why not? To be honest. Alright, well that works so well. Let's uh do it again. Water is good. The Compton Storm, straight out of Compton. Limp Dick 15. Dickick. Solid team. Oh, that's right, Stan and JD are diamonds, aren't they? That's interesting. Surprised I haven't seen them more, to be honest. Again with Cueto not having a fastball as next pitch. Drive me insane. But whatevs. Whatever. He might chase anything. He might chase a refrigerator if it was running down the street, to be honest. It's pretty wild. Oh. 
Drop. Lead off walk. Take it. Good pitch to steal on. Can't throw a strike. Good pitch. Good slider. Good, good slider. At least we're going to make him throw a ton of pitches. Not that that deserved to be a hit, because terrible swing, but... Please drop Joey Gallo, Yoey Gallo, Immortal, go to third. Oh, great, come back. Okay. That makes up for the behind the back play. To be honest. Shortstop. Alright. Uh, Andrew Miller, I guess, and Will Smith. Oh, those are both lefties. What am I doing? Sit down, Andrew Miller. And, uh, Kimbrell? Yates. We'll go Yates. Correa, jump throw, Derek Jeter-esque, oh my lord, what a play, that's immaculate, I mean you look at that play and you think to yourself, holy crap are leprechauns real, and to me leprechauns are in fact, are in fact real. There's no doubt in my mind. In fact, that leprechauns are real. And that play confirms it somehow. Alright, we need to get Matt Chapman out here. And we did? Okay. Three outs to Hafner. And then we'll play a ranked game. Three outs to Hafner. Uh, Andrew Miller. Andrew Miller might be hard to hit. Feels bad. Yeah. 
I don't feel comfortable lefty lefty against Andrew Miller. Good sock there by Correa. Into the gap. Is it Listella? We can try Listella, but I don't. Don't feel great about it. Oh, down the line. Tommy Listella. I guess we gotta try to score him, right? Oh, he threw it to second? Well, that sucks. Yeah, that sucks. But we have a two run lead now, so. Bullpen. Frickin', I guess we'll just roll with those guys. I don't have a better idea. Good pitch. That slider moves like a wiffle ball, man. And I don't pitch well with Andrew Miller, but it seems like everyone else does. Which, you know. We'll go... We'll go new diamond Kirby Yates, playing down to an 80, because I hate myself. You know. What a bad first pitch. Swing, please. Hmm. All right. Not really a great pitch, but two outs to a win. We'll take it. Kirby Yates' inside edge is so terrible, man. It's so bad. He's playing as like an 80 today. He just went up to an 85, so it's actually he was worse earlier today. But it's not good. For sure. Scope. What does Scope do? He hits lefties pretty well. We'll just we'll rock with Yates here. Uh, Chris Davis. Well, then we're going with Will Smith. Pinch hitter again. I would. Vlad Guerrero Jr. off the bench. Interesting. Alright. One out from uh, Hafner, and then we'll play a ranked seasons game. Assuming nothing awful happens here in this last few pitches. Oh, he meant to swing. He meant to swing. Dude, I really don't want to challenge this guy with a fastball, but I think I might have to. Oh, never mind. Alright, there it is. Travis Hafner has been acquired. It's a good debut him. Three wins, Kevin Jepson, huh? Wow. Forfeit entry. Okay. Uh, how did I say to do this? You go to exchanges. Voucher exchange. Not that. Is it? Not that.
collections maybe. How do you get Hafner? Events. There we go. That makes a ton of sense. <laughs> That's stupid. Alright, and with that we get, what, 750 st stubs? is isn't bad. Yep. Travis Hafner has been acquired. We will add him to the lineup over Freddie Freeman for now. I also got a five pack of uh, cards. So much stuff to open. Do I want to open it though? That's the question. Alright, so for the video. What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we have a debut. It is 94 overall Travis Hafner, which you get for the... I don't know, 17 event wins, 20 event wins, whatever, the six little voucher things. 105, 106 versus righties, 86, 87 versus lefties. 90 plate vision, his fielding is god awful. I mean, you could stick a frog over there and he'd be more effective, to be honest. Um, but he's a big bodied guy, a lot like Frank Thomas, so we'll see if he's effective, even kind of in today's game. Do I have Cleveland? It'd be cool if I had Cleveland. I don't know that I have Cleveland Stadium. Oh, we do. Hafner will bet third for us in front of Arenado who will protect him. Uh, what else? Griffey and then yeah, works for me. The Los Angeles Bruins. We're facing Whitey Ford. Which is cool. It's a lefty so it's not great for Travis. Unfortunately. This guy has almost an all signature series team. The exception of Ichiro and Vlad. Alex Nell's one three two three. This guy's level 69. Nice. Strike three, thank you very much. You can watch that all day. Bases 
Oh, he went to swing. You kidding me? Nick, throw it, Nick. Throw the ball, Nick. Nicholas. To be honest, awful pitch, but Nick's got to throw the ball. Well, I don't like this at all. Lefty versus Frank Thomas? I don't like it at all. Okay. I could have been a lot worse, to be honest. Alright, Griffey. Griffey! Gotten him! Let's go! Big time. Now I have to face Whitey Ford. Jeez, that is a horrible, <laughs> a horrible motion. I don't know why I was swinging first pitch. I was feeling good about myself. Not good. This will wind up a foul ball. Swing and a miss on okay. the slider, and that's out number one. So, what are Whitey Ford's pitches? 92, 81. Okay, so not fast. I think we're on all star right now, so even slower. Noted. Ooh, but not that slow. A little faster than that. Jesus. Good pitch. Good pitch. All right. Here is Travis Hafner. Lefty on lefty. And we're swinging first pitch, because why not? To be honest. Oh, and they have the shift on Travis, too. That's worth noting. Okay, I've adjusted too much. Dinky ground ball. Alright. Well. Drive to 
Up the middle. Griffey makes the play. All right. Do we try to go by Keith Hernandez after this game? I don't know. Might be a good question, though. Oh, man. That was the best jump I think I've ever seen in my entire life. And it was a ball. She's sad. Throw it. All right. Oh, he's running home, are we? I'm playing one of those guys. Hate to see that. Hate to see that. Oh my god. Alright, we we're gonna have to score one anyway, probably. This sucks, that's what the run looks like for him. Swing at anything, as long as he's stealing. I don't know what that says about him, but that's going to be an out. All right, let's go get our run back. Lefty, lefty, or er, Arenado versus a lefty, rather. I don't know how I look at that, and I'm like, oh yeah, lefty, lefty. Good call. That's so unlucky. Fly. Go. Go. Okay. Don't know how he caught that because his glove never moved, but cool. That's cool. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. If Jimmy Fox goes yard here, that would be immensely helpful. Or he could just get a hit. Dude, all Jimmy Fox does is hit. I don't know what it is about that card. It's just... All he ever does is get hits. Wow. That pitch is so slow. Change is so slow on Whitey Ford, man. So slow. That sucked. Nick Senzel. Probably going to have a double. Yep. No doubt.
Is my pitcher on deck? My pitcher might be on deck, so I don't know that he's... I need Cargo to swing the bat here. Because I definitely don't want the pitcher batting with the bases loaded. But I'm a pretty good hitter with pitchers, but I think that's pretty common for everyone, so... Two two. Good take right there. He's given him a great battle with guys in scoring position. We'll see. Oh, I don't know that I deserve to foul that. But we got it. Yeah, I just I just fluffed it out to right field. God dang it. Alright. No doubt. High in the air out to center field. Giving chases Junior. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. In now, Cal Ripken. Ready with the first pitch. So Wagner or uh, Kutch. What do you guys think? It might be, to be completely honest with everyone, it might be Kutch for me because I need outfielders right now. I don't want to keep playing that Griffey card in center. But, you never know. Maybe it's Billy. Dude, Travis Hafner at first base is so scary. Like, I know it's the same as, like, Frank, you know? Frank Thomas at first, and he's serviceable, but... Yikes. My butthole is puckered every time the ball is going to be hit over there. It's, like, clenched. Wow, I don't know how, how I got away with that pitch. It's rough, man. That's like, oh, okay. Strike? Sh question mark? Nope, I don't like that pitch at all. What do we want to do here? I think we bust a cutter in. Oh, and we did, and he still hit it. Okay. I respect it. Dude, that's look at where that pitch is. It's Frank Thomas, but I mean, that far off the plate. <laughs> Unreal. Unbelievable. It's great when you throw a pitch exactly where you want to and he still hits it. It's just so frustrating. So that pitch was, I mean, a ways off the plate. It wasn't touching the strike zone. But, whatever, man. All right, today's episode of Can the Pitcher Get a Hit? Cole Hamels, who I feel like I hit okay with. I hit reasonable with him. That was bad, but other than that, I feel like I hit reasonably with him. Okay. Be more patient. Just gotta be patient. Say as I swing at a pitch out of the zone. 
Oh, it was, in, it was actually it was in the zone. What am I talking about? Drop, please. Okay. Sick. Base hit. Thank you. Roberto. So that brings up Travis Hafner. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he's got. I swing at the first pitch. So bad. Okay, well that went significantly better than the last time he was batting, so can't complain. Cannot complain, I guess. Try another pitch inside. Travis Hafner fielded a ball. Holy crap. 50 fielding. Playing like at least 51 fielding over there. Alright, this is the inning we get to uh, Whitey Ford here. Oh, really? Great pitch. Change up is so slow. Heck, dude. Dude, so playing Hall of Fame event games all day to getting to All-Star and rank seasons, tough transition. Okay, cool. Frick, dude. Hey, what's up, Thomas? So you learned Everlong? Please drop. Oh, Frick, what's happening? What is happening on the baseball field right now? Oh, we caught it. Well, that's good, so now I want to get pissed off. Next time. Here comes 
Dude, so I ate something like horrible last night and I was up till like 2 or 3 in the morning just like vomiting all over the place. It was awful. It was terrible. So now I'm just not leaving my room. Uh, no, it was last night, so it was like two nights ago. I ate chicken last night, steak last night. I don't remember what I ate. I think I ate steak, and I don't think we cooked it long enough. It was rough, it was a long night, to be honest. So I'm like quarantined in my room right now. Yeah, today is Friday. You're right. So I'm also hyped up on medicine. Please fall. Nope. Yeah, because yesterday we, uh, what did we do? What did I do yesterday? I don't even know what I did yesterday. I don't know. I think I just played guitar for a while yesterday. Jesus. You got plans this weekend? Oh, nice. What's the, uh, what's its name? KOTOR 2, what is that? There's no name yet, because if you name it, you're going to get attached. That's what my dad always said. So like if you name it, you're gonna get attached, and then it's gonna die and stuff. I was like, well, people named you, and you're gonna die. I hate this game so much. Need a different game to play. No name, but you're already attached. Fair enough. Jesus, what a terrible arm. So what kind of a cat is it? It's black? Well, that's racist. So name it like Dequinarius or something. Are you guys just not going to name it or is it just going to be called the black cat? La -a. It's a solid name. Go! Dang it. La 
dash ah or ah lad ah. Jesus Christ. La Dasha That's its name? <laughs> That's what y'all are going with? That seems awful. Feels so bad for that cat. Bro, so does the cat like music? I guess that's an important thing in that house. No? <laughs> that's unfortunate. Is it an inside cat? You know, if your cat doesn't like Everlong, you just need to like give it away and get a new one. To be honest. There's two people watching right now. You're one of them, and I don't know who the other one is. So they're just hearing us talk about your cat. Which to me is pretty funny, because now they know you have a cat named La Dasha. Bro, you should name it like Grohl or something. Name it after the Foo Fighters. That's what you should do. I'm a great namer of things. Golly. Namer Dave? That might be better than Grohl, to be honest. I disagree. Bro, you need to make sure your cat can play piano or something, too. If it doesn't like music, it needs to at least know how to play music. No to her name being La'a. I don't know if she likes music. Ah, <laughs> so that's what they were trying to name it. I'd name it Cornelius. I have a horse in Red Dead named Cornelius. Seems like a great name for an animal. I dated a girl in high school that had two cats. One of them loved music, like would sit by the piano. And like whenever anyone played, the cat was all about it. And one of them, like as soon as anything musical happened, would like scratch everyone eyeballs out. 
just leave them on the floor and you're just sitting there bleeding like intensely because the cat was a dick it was rough it's a rough time good news thank you thank I hate this game so much. <laughs> Let me know how it goes. You need to record it. Because if it hates it, it's going to be really funny. If your cat just like tries to scratch the crap out of you, you know? Because I could picture you running around your house playing Everlong and your cat chasing you. Like that's a very possible image I see in my head. Gunned. Tag him out, Travis. Thank you. Base hit. That was hit pretty well. Oh, I don't know that I changed my bullpen. We need to see. Lefty. Hello. I waited here for you. Ever long. Tonight. I throw myself into who? Oh my god. Drop. Nope. Did not. Thomas, part of me is hoping that that experiment is going super well, and the other part of me is just hoping that your cat is flipping out and chasing you around your house. So, I want you to know that.
strike. Okay. I think it was a ball, but we got him out, so cancels out. That was the cat. That was the cat. What do you mean? Gunned. In time, and he's cut down as the plate as they keep up the <laughs> How's your cat can speak English. That's impressive. Kind of. Can speak gibberish. She seems drawn to the guitar. That's good. So, did you play it on acoustic or electric? Smith so electric. Okay. Well, that's good. So you have a rock and roll cat then. She's in what? In what? She's invested in watching you play. Well, I'm about to go rob some trains in Red Dead in a minute, I think. So. Jesus. Let's see if she's also a thug cat. I don't think so. Uh. That sucks so much. Go back. Maybe she's just invested in the awfulness that is me trying to play this game on a ton of medicine. That was awful. bad. Let's see. <laughs> Bro, your cat is going ham on that screen, dude. Need a new laptop here in a minute. Alright, let's go. 